If you want to get tough on crime, you better get tough on literacy. That's the message that a radio station called We Act Radio in Southeast D.C. is pushing. And, as their name suggests, they're doing more than just talking. Matt Uris reports that that station is trying to open a bookstore. I'm in the middle of We Act Radio studio. It's where the idea all started. A group of hosts and producers were sitting around chatting about the need for a bookstore east of the river. That's when it hit them. Let's transform the basement into just that. Today marks the beginning of that journey. We Act Radio was packed in an effort to highlight the project and jumpstart fundraising. The station's talent showed out. All right, everybody donate a book. Having hosted Southeast D.C. native Sugar Bear and his band Experience Unlimited. When you get the, lotion. the Go Go Band made it big with its hit called The Butt. We open up for Bob Dylan over 70,000 white fans. We was the only black people there. And they gave us a standing ovation, and everybody was doing the butt. He gave up a gig and therefore money to be here. Why? The lack of educational opportunities in Southeast concerns him. A lot of teachers are afraid to work in Southeast. It's rough, man. So we get the last of everything. Turning the basement into a community bookstore is going to take time. Now, I understand it may look at this way right now, <laughs> but what I need you to do is Get use it. your imagination. Over here, envision shelves along the walls filled with books. The space is to be named after book lover and slain reporter Sharnice Milton. She was caught in the crossfire of a drive-by shooting in Southeast two years ago. Her homicide remains unsolved. You can also do a psychological profile of the people who were responsible for a murder. They was probably functionally illiterate, they probably didn't finish school, they probably had trouble reading, and this is what we need to address. The station wants every police officer in the district to give 10 bucks. Think of it as a way of fighting crime, they say. Beginning tomorrow at 11 a.m., the police and you watching at home can begin making donations. We'll have more information in our WUSA 9 app. In Southeast, Matt Uris, WUSA 9. And Matt says that project is expected to cost about $180,000.